where you want to be, come check this out. I'm gonna give you a backstage look at what it looks like dropping into this ramp. Feel free to peek over right there. Is your heart racing yet? I know mine is, and I know it's gonna keep racing as Mitchie Brusco is gonna go for history with the first ever backside 1260. Hope he lands it here in the real cost. Skate Big Air, take it away. Welcome back to X Games Minneapolis. It's now time for the Mount Everest of skateboarding as we bring you the real cost. Skateboard Big Air, what's happening everybody? Brandon Graham joined alongside 30-time X Games medalist and the Michael Jordan of Big Air, Bob Bernquist. And of course, Craig McMorris reporting live from that ramp all day long. Bob, it's been two years since you've competed at X, but safe to say this event in particular in good hands with the likes of Mitchie Brusco, Elliot Sloan, and Clay Kreiner. Yes, it is. What's up, everyone? It's the big day. Yeah, this event has been uh, incredible ever since uh, last couple years. I mean, the progression and all the five different gold medalists, it's moving around, so these guys all want a taste of it. Yeah, everyone will be chasing our defending gold medalist, Mitchy Brusco. He had been waiting to get that first ever X Games gold. It happened last summer here in Minneapolis with that 1080 off the quarter pipe. And rumors are he's got an unprecedented 1260 on his mind here today, Bob. Well, he's got a lot of skill. Look what it took for him to do for him to get that gold medal. Well, what to look for here today? We've got five different gold medalists in the last six X Games. Two gold medalists in the field, Mitchy Brusco and Elliot Sloan. And look out for our top-ranked qualifier, Edgar Pereira. Practice just moments before the start of this final. An unfortunate injury occurred for more. Let's head down to Craig McMorris. That's right, Brandon. Trey Wood went down very, very hard on the quarter pipe just behind me, so he will not be skating in the finals. Replacing him, Toby Ryan, who found out just moments ago he's only had two practice runs, so it'll be a feeling out process for our first skater. Guys? Thank you, Craig. Let's set it off here in the real cost. Skateboard Big Air kicking things off. The youngest in the field, our lone teenager, 16-year-old Toby Ryan. With zero practice. I mean, Trey Wood, I was skating practice with them, and he went down, and there was no time for Toby to get ready, and all of a sudden, he's an alternate, and he's off the big jump. That is no joke. I mean, good thing he's a kid, and he's ready. It's never yeah. easy to be the first to drop in, but that's Toby Ryan's job here today. Let's see what he's able to pull together. Nice Ollie three with, that's incredible, man. And a 540 that big with no practice to start off the contest. Big man skateboarding right there. That's what we call 16-year-old legs, Bob. Yes, and a 16-year-old mentality. So look at this. Another look at this five. And, he, and because of his weight, he'll go a little lower than a lot of the other guys, but that was still a big 540. Yeah, the height of that quarter pipe, 27 feet. So he's above that 27 feet. All right. Well. If you feel like you need a shot of something, a little energy, look no further than Beaver Fleming, who drops in now, making his third X Games appearance. Back, oh man, backflip, a little over shot, over amped. And his reaction is no different whether he lands a trick or bails. That's just the energy that he skates with. A look at our format today, eight skateboarders. It's a 25-minute jam session. The best run counts, Bob, but dropping in now. Vovo, Edgar Pereira, Brazilian top spot. Uh, I think qualifier. he got ahead of himself because oh, it's actually it's Justin Rivera <laughs> dropping in All out right. of Encinitas, California. Let's get Justin in there. Justin dropping in switch. One of the only guys doing that in this competition. Going for the switch back 180. Grabbing just for good measure. Getting a good solid run in. Huge oh backside my. 540. Oh man, that was a low lander. A little too much of a snap on the quarter pipe, man. The little things you do goes a long way on something this big. I mean, your, your movements are subtle. And that took him down to flat, so he'll have to go back for the next. And because of this new format, the jam, you'll see the pace pick up quite a bit. Skaters dropping much quicker than we've seen in recent years. So now to drop in our top-ranked qualifier, the oldest in the field, 37-year-old Edgar Pereira. Vovo 
showing some respect to Jake Brown wearing the shirt. Oh, the heel flip. Oh, man, he's what? Oh! It didn't flip, and he flipped it with his hand. Again, also popped out a little too much. I guess that these guys are amping. I mean, this is high adrenaline, and, and they're snapping a little bit too much on that quarter pipe. I guess Toby, because of not practicing, <laughs> I guess he was a little mellower on, the, on his snap, and he got his run, but... Bob, wow. what's crazy is he did get two jumps before this event started. He went back three, back five on both of them. Perfect. Incredible. In practice. That's awesome. So here's Ronnie Gomez. Ronnie goes, going for a very tough trick. Everyone's going backside all the 360s. Ronnie goes for the front side all the 360, and it's really hard to do. Back up to the top of the ramp, Elliot Sloan. This is an event he's won three times before, Bob. Uh, he's no stranger to this. Let's see his strategy. Go straight to the Indy 7. Yeah. He's got it in his... And then... Oh, going oh. right for the 9. I guess he's learned a, a lesson to use the most amount of runs to get that 9. Well, I was going to say, Bob, in recent years, we would see a work up to that. He yeah, comes we, right out of the gate, run 1. Yes, and but you only have so many runs, so... Correct. So here's Clay win Kreiner. Or lose for Elliot. Clay skated vert. Earlier this week, he's an alternate for Park. Indy 7 as well. Wow, Clay. And then huge alley U 540. One of my favorite tricks to see, and just about pulls that in. Yeah. His heart is thumping. Huge 21.5 oh. there for the height. Wow, meter. we got to take another look at that. Let's look at this shot brought to you by Pacifico. Right here, Indy. 720. Didn't really, didn't really see him do many of those, and then when it counts, he does it. And then alley oop 540. You don't see people do that. It's a very scary trick. Great, holding it together, getting his run. What in. did that say? 21 and a half feet. Yeah. It's, wow. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. Wow, indeed. Yeah, you see why he would be grabbing his chest like that. Did it look as high to you, Craig, standing down there on the floor as it did to us in the booth? That was full beast mode from Clay Kreiner. I do not understand how he hung on to it right in the transition there. That Pacifico replay gave us a really good look at it. But here, here's the big dog, boys. Our defending gold medalist, 22-year-old Mitchie Brusco. Okay, Mitchie's going, he's really going for quarter pipe here. Let's see if he just goes straight out the bat to the 12th. Wow. Now that was a very good attempt. Oh that is incredible. Oh my goodness. Gentlemen, we saw him try to attempt that wow. in his last attempts at X Games Shanghai just a couple of months ago. He's going for history on his very first attempt. Keep your eyes on Mitchie Brusco all day long. But Toby Bryan now for run number two. Oh I like my. these guys' strategy. They want to use all runs. These are tough tricks. They want to use every opportunity they have to land it. And he's getting close, Bob. But here's yes, Toby Ryan, close. who Toby literally found already, out he was in this contest 10 minutes ago. Already has a run. Ollie three. He's good. Body very nice. Yeah, that's tough to go with no practice. I'll give it to Toby for getting a run in already. But let's see him. Scores already coming in. Clay Kreiner leading the way early as we're under 20 minutes. Beaver Fleming had trouble over the gap. Can he clean things up on his second run? Backflip. Oh, nice. Smooth landing. Just perfect speed, and then 540. Oh, my gosh, oh. man. Again, over-snapped, almost over-rotated, landed low. But... And Beaver Fleming, Look at this. hard to miss, even in the air. That was a really good snap, but he was a little bit on the low side and tried to hold on to that. Yeah, Beaver. So Justin Rivera had a fifth place finish, his best so far in his young X Games career in China just a couple of months ago. Trying to get that first podium. Can he do it here at X Games Minneapolis? Well, he's got to make a run, and he does have a, a switch trick on the gap. Should help him with that gap score. But he wants a run, and he needs it. Big 540, great job. Justin Rivera, that's right. That's the heart tap. We all feel it. Now, you're you're going to see that a lot. We see Mitchie 
going for that 1260 right out the gate. He may take the entire jam trying to do it. Now you're seeing a different approach from a guy like Justin Rivera. Get that solid run under your feet. Get that score. Now you can stack it from here. Two different approaches. Two different approaches. Uh, you know, that trick, that 1260, is going to take all attempts that he possibly can. But that first attempt was close. We almost saw it a landing right off the bat. So different approaches. So here's Edgar Pereira. As it's so deserving. Top spot qualifier, incredible heel flip body barrel five, and I know he wants to do that again. He's got two bronze medals in his 13 X Games career. Backside ollie three. Just got a calm, collected. Oh man, that snap. Oh, oh, he goes for the body barrel. Okay, these guys are like, they don't want to mess around. He knows that he can't take too many attempts on just the heel flip body barrel five, and I say that. Not lightly because that's a tough enough trick, but he wants to do that with a nine. So These Rivera's guys want to win. landed run put him into second place, still behind Clay Kreiner. Ronnie Gomez trying to get that first make of the day. Ronnie earning silver at X Games Shanghai. Ronnie was tense before the contest as he goes for the front side Ollie three, a little under, not enough speed. And it goes right to Elliot. I really like the pace of this jam. Elliot Sloan owns 10 X Games medals. 87, 20, solid, like it's nothing. And then tail, nine. He's what? go! Oh, man, that hurt. Oh, gosh. That was close, but he needed that body to go forward. Man, that is. Slams like that feel like a car accident on this ramp. Medical. Getting over to him very quickly. Oh, he man. competed in vert just a few nights ago, and he also really went down well hard. What goes done. wrong here? It, it looks just like he's going to ride away. Everything's right. He hadn't landed one yet, and it's just solid, perfect. He needed that body forward a little bit, um, and that's just about it because, I mean, he's right on, and it's his body. he's a little bit in the back seat, and then yeah. boom, look just at this. That is a rocker. Gosh. So we hope Elliot Sloan's okay. We're midway through our jam here in the Real Cost Skateboard Big Air.
Slomani's at the X Games. Must be nice. Don't hate like your coworkers, Trip. Book your own with Hotels.com. Welcome back to The Real Cost. Skateboard Big Air just before the break. We saw Elliot, slow down. Elliot Sloan go down hard on that 900. X Games medical staff tended to him, but he got up and walked off the ramp on his own power. So we'll see if he continues in the competition. But let's go back up to the booth with Brandon Graham and Bob Burnquist. Yeah, thank you, Craig. Really good to hear that and see that. If he can land that run, that's been a gold medal run for him in the past. But we welcome you back here to the Real Cost Skateboard Big Air. And Clay Kreiner, our current leader, is set to drop in. Clay does have an upgrade to his run. Let's see if he actually goes for it. So, Indy 7. Oh. There's a thing that happens when you know that you have to go off on the quarter pipe that <laughs> you go for that gap trick and you're like, okay, maybe it's a bail. I'm not ready yet. So. Um, so let's see. We turn our attention to Mitchie Brusco, who right on, out Mitchie. the gate comes swinging. He's loose. Trying that 1260 on his first attempt. Can he do it here? Switch drop in, going for the setup over the gap. Nice. Come on, Mitchie. Oh, my oh. gosh, man. That is so close. That is incredible. Let's look incredible at that one skill. more time. Look at the one, rotations. Two three solid looks I mean how does he and he's like still had room for another back 180 that's incredible the eject button came very quick oh man so Mitchy Brusco is just inching closer to immortality with that trick but we move back to the top of the list with Toby Ryan our youngest competitor in the field he's one of three guys so far Bob as we're at the 15 minute mark to land a run here in the final yeah well he's he's in podium as we see this unfold the body barrel five that's an upgrade that's good that should uh bump him up a notch maybe i don't know another solid pull for toby ryan as we take another look i want to turn to craig down there hey craig did you have any impression oh he takes his foot off a little that, bit that that mitchie was gonna go for this 12 right away I really believe that he was going to pull it on every single run because in practice he was struggling with it. Bob, we saw him get it around on both attempts. In practice, he wasn't even coming close to rotating it. Now he's finishing it before he even hits the coping. Yeah, we're going to see that as we see Toby's uh, replay there. Um, yeah, Mitchie's incredibly close. Uh, in practice, he was just doing 900s like it's nothing. So. He's definitely ready for the spin, and so he wants it. Toby Ryan bumps up his score, but third place is where he will stay. Beaver Fleming trying to get a full pull here in the real cost skateboard again. big air. Good landing, Beaver. Less snap on the quarter pipe. It should be good. Looks like he snapped a lot there. Oh, my gosh. He landed low. How he, do you hang on to that? He wow. landed low, but he was ready. You know, on the last one, he landed low, and he wasn't ready for that hit. He was ready for that one. Absolutely stomping it, going nearly 22 feet above the coping, taking a look over the gap first. With a colorful backflip. Colorful kit. That's right. Clean. Brings it in right in the spot. Watch this. Boom. Right where he needs to land. Sweet spot. And then I can tell that was a big snap right there. That he was going to land low. Look how low he lands, but he's ready for that. That's nearly 50 Boom. feet above the ground. Remember, he was an alternate last summer here at X Games Minneapolis. That score coming in for Beaver, a 69, bumping out Toby Ryan, putting him in the bronze medal position. Here's Justin Rivera sitting in second place. Great job, and what, what keeps Justin in second place is his switch drop in off the big jump. Now he's gonna go for the, oh, oh my gosh. What? I what? knew that was coming. That is a switchback side ollie with a late shove it no grab using the wind grabbing with his feet we're gonna see justin bump up his score if he lands that to go switch to go backside over the gap of this ramp the magnitude of difficulty is unreal but here's edgar Pereira, vovo which translates to grandpa in portuguese definitely the grandpa of this competition and he's gonna land this only because i'm not in it <laughs> Come on. Can he bring it oh around? Oh my gosh, please just stay away from the deck. And wow, 
He is going for it. And, then, you know, to get yourself to do that trick, only in X Games competition for you to psych yourself up. For someone who's ridden this ramp more than anyone that has this ramp in his own backyard, Bob Bernquist, the air awareness when you're above the deck to be able to get over it. Yeah, I mean, and, and the mental, oh, there you get it. Come on, Ronnie. Goes for the tail grab 360. Gets it. Gets it. Ronnie Gomez, very tough combination right there. That's a frontside ollie three, no grab. Much harder way to spin, and then tail grab 360 on the quarter. Look at this. And the reason this is harder is that he has to keep his board to the relative win, or it just flies away from his feet. Glued oh, on just over the cap. It. And then this. Super scary, tail grabbing, solid, and then not really seeing what just is being up. Blind on the drop, believing, oh. and then solid, just so well executed. Ronnie Gomez, that should put him up there in the podium. And 82, we have a new leader. Go. Gomez takes over first place. That is very deserving right there. Great job. Wow. Elliot's so here's back. Elliot after that nasty fall off the quarter, his first Indy run seven. since then. Indy 7 to tail 9. Oh, that, that slam has to be in his head. But he's actually moving around pretty good. It's warrior style. Oh, D -way. Danny Way in the mix. Just legends appearance. everywhere in Minneapolis. Showing Clay Kreiner some love, who just had first place taken away from him by Ronnie Gomez. Can he grab it back? He does have a trick and an upgrade to it, so if he lands this, we're going to see an alley of nine, I think. Now, yeah, the oh. alley of varial five, which is a really tough trick. Wow. Almost looked like late decision making mid air there, Bob. Yeah, you have to do that. You can't just snap and start barreling. You have to like be solid on your board. It's a lot of height. It's a lot of time. Mitchie Brusco, he's been 0 for 2 so far with that 1260 on the quarter pipe, but he seems to be getting closer each time. Get rich or die trying. I don't think he's going to stop until he puts this thing down. This could be it. Oh, a little low on the landing, but he's got it. He just lands the. What is going on? Okay. Knights of it. Columbus. And he he sketched off the gap, and it just put him in a, a good speed position. I don't believe what I have seen. Look how focused he is right there. That is incredible. I don't. Look, I mean that's a lot of. Look, his head is already spinning on the takeoff. There's a five, there's a nine, and another spin looks a little bit low on the landing, but just pulls it. Actually, that landing was really good. It wasn't low at all. Mitchie Brusco goes where no person has gone before. Yeah, Mitchie. A 12.60 at the X Games. Wow, like it was nothing. Focus, look. It hasn't really even hit him. What? Yeah, what? there, now An it hit you. <laughs> 89.66, good enough for first place. And as you said, Bob, really a setup trick over the gap, so he could actually jump that score up. How do you follow that up? Toby Ryan has no idea what to do. He's just psyched. Toby wants to do his thing. Craig, what is the <laughs> atmosphere like down there? Uh, electric, three and a half full rotations above a 27-foot quarter pipe. History in front of our eyes. Uh, we're right in the books, boys. It's an absolute electric factory here at U.S. Bank Stadium. Mitchie Brusco in Insane first place. Insane competition going on right here. And somehow the show must go on. Here's Still Bieber Fleming going. under eight minutes to skate with. Oh, my. Goes for the... No footer frontside seven. And Mitch, you hear you hear Beaver. <laughs> that was it. I mean, we thought he had this here, Bob. Well, Mitchie's 1260 just got everyone. I just I just watched I just watched a man fly. I didn't think that Beaver Fleming could get more fired up 
but he somehow went to 11 out of 10 right there. Yeah, <laughs> after a miss over the gap, and I've never seen someone more excited. That was incredible. He got he got a Mitchie jolt. So Justin Rivera, who was sitting in that silver medal spot earlier, is now on the outside looking in. He's sitting in fourth place. Well, with his combo, he does have a good chance. This trick right here, uh, just couldn't really get it this time. Switch backside 180, Ollie to late shove it, no grab. It's very technical. So Edgar Pereira trying to land a run right now. Every one of these guys, have, I mean, Edgar has his run here. Heel flip body burial 900, which is up there with Mitchie's. 1260. Bob, have you ever seen him put that down? No, he got close last year. Come on, Edgar. Oh, yes. Can he, he, can he? No. Wow. That was a really good attempt, and he knows it. Body barrel heel flip 900. And what I is going on in this contest? Everyone is catching that vibe that Mitchie put out with that 1260, and everyone is going for it. Just progression, not clean. Emmanuel out of that Ollie 3, just cool, collected to get this. Heel flip, body barrel, put it to his feet, 900. I mean, what is going on? Uh, X Games mode. That's what's going on. Literally Serious. X Games mode right now. Paying homage to the great Jake Brown, who wasn't able to qualify for this final, is Edgar Pereira. But we now turn our attention to Ronnie Gomez, who's sitting in that silver medal spot, Bob. Given everything that's transpired, let's not forget, Ronnie's got that 82, and he's got more in the back. He does have more. That was a really good combo there. And to upgrade that, let's see what he goes for. Front side ollie. And then... Dang, yeah, I think I knew he was going to try that. Oh. Yeah. Going for the seven, forward to fakey. Oh, the glass is off. That's serious. Going for the forward to fakey, tail, 720. That is definitely an upgrade. Front side ollie three clean. One of the toughest tricks over the gap we're seeing here, even though you've seen 720s and everything, but the front side ollie three is really hard to do. That is really board control to do. defined. And then gets really close. I mean, I saw him try some at my house and wasn't as close as this. And that's, I guess, X Games for you. Five minutes to skate with here. Elliot. The real cost skateboard Elliot big air. Run. Indy 720. He wants it. Tail nine. Oh, oh, that's close. Oh, my. That was just his board. That's OK. If you keep it calm, Elliot, there's a couple more runs. That's five minutes left. All you need is one. Just focus on that. So Clay Kreiner was in gold medal position until about five minutes ago. Now he's sitting in that bronze medal spot. Indy 720. Clean every time. Alley oop, burial five. He gets yes. it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Insane. Wow, that's a lot going on. You're just an alley you 540 on this is, is insane. And, and Bob, if you're barely Clay is so consistent. He's the only skater on the big air podium for the past three years, and this is a big reason why. That's right. This Indy 7 is textbook, clean. Just setting himself up. And look how late when he goes into that alley you Look, right here, boom, he goes for an alley of five first and then spins around and then turns it in. I mean, a lot can go wrong. You can over rotate, and that was just perfect. And not only that, nobody's getting higher here today than Clay Kleiner. An 81.33 third place is where he will stay. So, Mitchie Brusco, what do you do for an encore after you just made history? Just going to get a better gap trick before you get there. It's really, <laughs> it's really hard because you know all that energy to align the 1260, and now it's like I got it. Okay, now what? You know. 
Just so, smile, that's what. Toby Ryan, who's already got two full pulls. Oh, nice. Trying to switch things up. Everyone trying to upgrade here, get some progression. That was a uh, max out Ollie three with a body barrel. So Beaver Fleming was so yep. close on his last run. Under three minutes. No footer, front seven. Oh! He's doing that over rotation a little bit too much. It's a good trick, and, and if he just, uh, I think being amped like that is good, but you have to calm yourself down when you're when you're going across and, and trying to land. Hey, yeah, Craig, can you relay that to Beaver to calm down just a little bit? He just came over and just gave me a bear hug, so <laughs> no, he's not coming down at all, boys. That's Beaver for you. I'm just I'm just uh, trying to get some constructive criticism. I want to see him land. <laughs> I want to see him land it. So Justin Rivera unable to land. Here's Edgar Pereira yet to land this run. But if he can do it, Bob, where does that put him? Oh, that puts him up there. It's a backside only three over the big gap. And he's not, and remember, he's going off the big side. Oh, Edgar, please. Oh. A little, it's hard because he has to heel flip, put it onto his feet, and then spin the remaining. Oh, 900. I mean, this There's is insane. There's a lot going on. A lot going in the on. Air. And he's going so high. He has time. Well, I don't know. That knuckle from Danny Way might do wonders here for uh, for yeah, Ronnie. Yeah, yeah. Get that good touch. Ronnie can do this, and I really hope he does. And it'll be the first time he does. Frontside ollie three. Come on, Ronnie. It's the time to do it. Is now. Oh. That is a tough trick. It's scary. And he's grabbing the tail, which makes it even harder. So it's lining up to be final attempts time. Elliot Sloan 45 trying seconds to land left. this run. Elliot that has, has to won put him it all gold together before, here. Bob. 87. Just give it a snap, Elliot. Tail nine. Done. That's it. Elliot that Sloan has won this has. event before with that line. Is it enough to topple Brusco? You know. And get another gold. I'm going to have to say that Indy 7 off the big gap definitely has more scores than Mitchie's switch back 180 off right. the small gap. And between a tail 9 and a 1260, I mean, you can only go 50 at the It's point. not a single trick. No, contest, it's a double Bob. combo. I mean, he could. If judges look at this the way they should, and I really don't I want to influence this, but it's just those are tough tricks. A tail grab nine compared to a 1260. 1260 is up there in the 50. Oh man, this Elliot, is gonna be tough to judge, but that was incredible right there. Elliot Sloan in search of that fourth big air gold, a 91.66. Yes. And Elliot and takes why. over first place. There is a reason why. Let's go! And just so people at home understand, you know, it, it, it's two tricks. So his 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 gap trick was up there and his quarter pipe trick was up there. And that's the only reason why he just took the lead. And what a performance from Elliot Sloan. He hadn't landed the run all day. On his final attempt, he does it, but here's Clay Kreiner. Come on, Clay. I know what Clay can do if he goes for it. That's it. The alley of oh. 900. We haven't, we haven't seen him try that. I mean, he was wow. up in the he was up in the rafters off the quarter. Take another look. Alley oop nine. <laughs> Hard enough to just do a nine or to just do an alley of five. Clay goes for the alley of nine. And I think the only reason he had he didn't do it is he really didn't try any of them here. Okay, so Elliot Sloan takes over first place on his last run. There is one skater left to drop in for the final attempt here in the real cost skateboard big air. It's Mitchie Brusco. He's Mitchie already Brusco. made history. Now he's going to have to add the degree of difficulty over the gap. He can do it. He has to upgrade on his gap trick. Yeah, the kickflip front lean would definitely be an upgrade, but that is it. Elliot Sloan.
And Elliot with, with that, the gold. And <laughs> Elliot Mitchie Sloan. with a 1260. Elliot, Elliot Sloan gets another X Games medal, the 11th of his career, the fourth Big Air gold of his career. And Mitchie Brusco makes history with the 1260. What a day for skateboarding here at X Games Minneapolis. Incredible stuff by Elliot Sloan. Slamming hard. Take, keeping his, a different mindset for Elliot. We used to see him kind of trip out when he's bailing, and he just held held his faith all the way through. All it takes is one run, and he did it. He did it on his last run. And there's going to be some, some respect between these two because that was incredible. Both these guys, Mitchie Brusco and Elliot Sloan. Elliot, that was an insane big air final. There were so many NBDs. What does it mean to be in a competition like that and then come out on top? Oh man, it's incredible. Just so stoked to be skating with all these guys. I mean, Mitchie landed that like nothing. That was insane. Um, you know, I've done that run before. I, I really wanted to do something else that I had, but uh, whatever, it's all good, man. <laughs> it is all good, it is all good. You've been skating so well all weekend. Talk to me a bit about the momentum. You killed Vert and then you kill it here. Yeah, I mean, I've really wanted to been do, like, just do good on Vert. Um, you know, I'm skating Vert a bunch at my house and I've always been so close here to getting on the podium and like, I was right there, but uh, it's all good, dude. I know what I gotta do for next year. One more quick question, I actually got some time. You slammed so hard on that nine. What was going through your mind then, going back up the elevator? Yeah, that really hurt my butt. <laughs> oh, I got some good hit pads though. And uh, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just so hyped, I don't even know what to say, man. Uh, uh, thanks all my sponsors, dude. Looking it up, dude. Uh, wait, what was the question? I just talking about that nine, you slammed. Yeah, what were you thinking on the elevator? Yeah, that was a cheek spreader, they call that one. And uh, man, that one's kind of rocked my insides. But uh, hey man, so we're at the X Games, you know, it's once a year. Gotta put it on the line, like, yeah, we did it. We did it! We're guys back up to you in the booth. Thanks, boys. Congrats, Elliot. Yeah, he did. Elliot Sloan went down so hard, did not have a made run, and then saved his best for last, taking over gold on his final run. And there you see the history maker and the gold medalist. But Elliot Sloan, what a performance. He had to fight for every inch out here today, Bob. Yes, and he made it happen. Textbook Indy 7, tail grab 9, clean with style, deserving. Elliot Sloan with a gold medal. Congratulations, Elliot. It's the fifth gold medal of his career, the fourth here in Big Air. Elliot Sloan, what a performance. And of course, history making with Mitchie Brusco landing the first ever 1260. <laughs> and Elliot Sloan has every right to celebrate right now. And Ronnie Gomez rounding out our podium, getting a bronze medal. But let's head down to Craig, who's with the History Maker. Mitchie Brusco, history tonight. That was very fun to watch. Talk about practice trying that 12. Uh, I tried one in Shanghai or two. And then this week, I just spun a bunch of 900s. And then I was just trying to ignore all the emotion, all the fear, and just spin right through a nine and feel where I am. And the last one, I was just like, if you let this go, I'm, I'm gonna slap. I, was, I would have been so mad. So I just stood on it, hoped for the best, and then like I was the most, I was probably more surprised than anyone in the building. So that's how you describe the face, your, your face when you rode away from it was just stoic. Was it surprise in there? I mean, it's so much emotion that it was just overwhelming. I, I didn't, I didn't feel anything. It just, I felt a lot. <laughs> well, thanks for putting it down. Thanks for committing to it. Thanks for putting on such a good show, boys. Back to you. Yeah, thanks. Let's take another look. Look at this. Just setting up with a switch back 180. 
See how low, low lander, a little sketch, and that might have helped him get his mind ready. And then, yeah, after that interview, I think I know what to do to try a 1260. But then I won't try it because I'm not Mitchie Brusco. And as Look he told this. Craig, the reaction, so stoic. And, and I think the amount of focus that it took to pull that off says it all. Well, what a day. But we're just getting started. Coming up, Monster Energy Men's Skateboard Street. After this message and a word from our ABC stations.